Una cosa que hay que hacer a menudo cuando se muda uno de casa es pedir a la gente que te ayude. E incluso ofrecerse para ayudarles. Habrás notado cómo Stan se ofrece para ayudar a Jeff y cómo Jeff le ha pedido ayuda. Fíjate en cómo se emplean estas palabras. Borrow, tomar prestado, y lend, prestar. Do you want to borrow some boxes, Mr. Adams? Thanks. And can you lend me your ladder, please, Stan? Of course. And can I borrow some string? Oh, Alan, can I borrow your pen, please? <sighs> of course. Thank you. Oh, and Alan, can you lend me some money? Um, I don't think I have any money, Vanessa. It's okay. Ahora, una canción. That's his, put it in the garage. That's mine, put it in the hall. Samantha, you're so beautiful. She's ugly and she's small. Whose is that? I don't know. But carry it carefully. Ahora vamos a ver la escena otra vez. Fíjate en lo que pasa al final. ¿Qué fue ese ruido que se escuchó? Alice se quedó muy preocupada. Stan, do you like this painting? Um, it's uh, can I have a cup of tea? Don't put it there. Put it by the window in bedroom one. And put this painting in the garage. I'll put this TV in the bedroom. <coughs> Later. This sofa goes in the living room. Here. In front of the window. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please, Mr. Adams. I have one sugar. I have two sugars. Oh, Mr. Adams, shall I put the sofa here? Yes, that's fine. Shall I put the tea here? Yes, that's fine. Whose is this? That's mine. It's got no sugar. This is yours. And that's Tom's. Thanks. Oh! Jeff? Hello? I'm sorry. What's the matter? The painting of Samantha. I'm sorry. Samantha. The painting was in front of the door. Puede que Alice se haya metido en un lío, ¿no crees? Bueno, es culpa de Jeff. No debería tener cuadros de ese tipo. Ahora vamos a ver algunas cosas. ¿A quién pertenece cada una? Whose painting is this? It's his. Whose chair is this? It's mine. It's hers. Whose chair is this? It's mine. It's his. Whose studio is this? It's ours! Whose is this? 
It's not mine. Is it his? No, it's not his. Is it hers? No, it's not hers. Is it theirs? It's, it's not, not ours. ours. Is it yours? It's not mine. It's not mine. It's mine. Y ya se nos acaba el tiempo por hoy. Para practicar las palabras nuevas, date una vuelta por tu casa y ve recordando cómo se dice en inglés el nombre de las habitaciones y los muebles. Say the words out loud and in English. Te ayudará a recordarlas. Goodbye. See you soon. Bye.